To find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in NiH2, nickel hydride, we'll use these general rules. So nickel hydride, that's a neutral compound. It's neutral because there's not a plus or minus up here like we'd see with an ion. So neutral compounds, oxidation numbers, those add up to zero. That's important. Let's see, nickel, that's a transition metal. It has different oxidation states, so we don't see that on our list. But hydrogen, hydrogen when it's bonded to metals, we're looking at a metal, nickel's a metal. So hydrogen bonded with metals, we have a minus one as our oxidation number. And that's for each of the hydrogens here. So we can set up a little equation. We could probably just do it by inspection, but let's set an equation up. Everything needs to add up to zero. So we have nickel, I'm gonna call that X, plus two hydrogens, and each one is minus one, and all of that has to equal the zero, because it's a neutral compound. So X minus two equals zero. X is gonna equal two, actually a positive two. So that's the oxidation number on the nickel, plus two. You probably could have just figured it out by saying two times minus one is minus two and the nickel needs to be plus two. But this is the thinking behind how we're figuring this out. Those are the oxidation numbers for each element in NiH2, nickel hydride. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.